Welcome to this guided meditation to meet Hades in our journey to the underworld. Let's start by closing your eyes and taking some nice deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. By focusing on your breath, you'll be able to connect with your body and allow yourself to be more present in the moment. Whenever you feel fear or doubts regarding your own visions, remember to just take a few deep breaths which will keep you grounded. Now, let's clean the heaviness by imagining a white smoke that enters your body through your nose. This white smoke will turn gray as it collects all the heaviness inside of you, all the doubts and fears, and it will leave your body when you exhale. Visualize how that gray smoke leaves your body. Let's repeat this process two more times, in through your nose and out through your mouth. In through your nose and out from your mouth. You should feel cleansed and fresh at this point. Now I will count from 10 to 1 to give you the opportunity to deeply relax. Allow yourself to release control, but always knowing that you have the power to decide when to stop this experience. As I count backwards, you will feel more and more relaxed. 10. Take a deep breath and release. 9. You are safe at this moment in time. 8. Your body starts to feel heavy and it starts to sink in this place where you are. 7. 6. 5. You are able to deeply relax and focus on this experience you are about to live. 4. 3. Take a deep breath and release. 2. Feel how your body is heavy now. You're still aware of your surroundings, but they don't disturb you. You are in control. 1. Take a deep breath and release. Now I want you to imagine a red ruby stone at the base of your spine, inside of your body. This crystal will start to spin as it emits a bright red light. Roots will grow under your body, and these roots will go through the floor, concrete, and beyond the earth until they reach the underworld. These roots will be anchored and will pull energy from the underworld all the way up to your body. This energy will enter your body and will nourish you with grounding energy that will start to activate each one of your energy centers. From the red crystal, the energy will go up to an orange one. Then it will go up to a yellow one, following all the way up to your heart in a bright green. Then this energy will go up to your throat and will shine a blue crystal. Then it will go up to your third eye and will ignite a deep blue. Finally, this energy will go up and above your head and will shine a violet color. Feel how this energy moves inside of your body. And now you're going to visualize or imagine 
how this light and how this energy go up and beyond your body and beyond your head and will be expanded from your head towards the sky where it will reach the upper realm and Olympus. This energy will be anchored there. Pull the energy from it to your body. Visualize how both energies collide inside of you, offering stability, grounding energy, and alignment at this moment, balancing both darkness and light. We will proceed to create some protection landmarks for your body as we prepare to travel. Visualize two spheres floating around you, a silver and a golden sphere. See how the silver one shines over your body and creates a bubble. This will be for protection and to help ease doubts. The golden one will also cover your body and will ground you an extra boost of vision and confidence. Now, visualize yourself standing from your body and stepping forward. A door will appear in front of you. It's made of wood and gold. Take the palm and open it. On the other side, you will appear in a beautiful garden full of flowers, bushes, birds, sunlight and fountains. The floor is grass and you're here walking barefoot. But if you feel uncomfortable with that, you can wear sandals. Look around and take note of how does this place feels for you. Use some words to describe it. It's okay to use simple adjectives. It doesn't have to be too elaborated. Walk through this place until you see a forged metal gateway. Approach the gate and go through it. Walking through these doors will help you advance towards the underworld. As for now, we are exploring the gardens of Persephone. You will see a bench or a swing seat. Take a seat and look around. Appreciate the moment in which you are. Admire the beauty of nature and feel part of it. You are part of nature. Now, in front of you, you will see a bunch of Narcissus flowers that grow from the ground. Suddenly, the breeze stops and the birds quiet. You are here to meet Hades, and he's offering you the choice to meet him as well. He won't force you to go to the underworld. If you don't feel ready yet, you can simply stand up and leave this place and try it out any other time. If you wish, to end this experience at this point, you will see a gate, you will cross it, and you will come back to your body. If not, and if you stayed, stand up and approach the flowers. Look at them. They have white petals and a yellow heart. A portal will appear in front of you when you touch the flowers and will remain open until you go through it. Before leaving this realm, Take the Narcissus flowers. Walk through the portal and you will see a deep darkness. But you are not afraid of it because you know that both light and darkness are part of you. Around you there is deep cold darkness. It's a cave. You hear the echo of your footsteps as you walk down a rough stair. 
Put your hand on the wall to help you maintain the balance. And a couple of feet away, you will see torches shining bright to light. At the end of the tunnel, on the other side, you will see a tall man dressed in a black suit or robes. He's Hades, waiting for you on the other side. It's okay if this appearance is blurry or if details are not clear. Focus on what you feel. He offers you his hand and when you take it, you will step into the ground of the underworld. Hear what he has to say to you right now. Hades will take you on a road and will show you his palace at the other side of a majestic bridge. You will both walk through this path. Take advantage of the moment and look around. It's okay if you cannot see a refined image. You could only see glimpses or see things as a bird would. There's no correct way to experience this moment. You will both reach the gate of Hades' palace. The doors will open and you will see a hallway full of art pieces, dark marble floors, fireplaces and chandeliers. This is the foyer of the King's Hall. Walk through this path with him while paying attention to any kind of information he wants to deliver to you. This interaction is yours. You can ask him anything you want. You are his guest and he wants you to feel comfortable here. You will reach the King's Hall after going through another pair of doors. See this place, the columns, the stained glass windows, the heavenly roofs and the thrones of Hades and Persephone. Hades will turn his body to you and will ask you something. Take a moment to receive, think and answer his question. During this time, feel free to also ask him any questions about 
his purpose on your life, or anything you would like to know. I will let him guide the conversation at this moment, and I will come back to you for the closing just after you hear a subtle bell sound.
It's time to go now. But before you do, give him the flowers you picked in Persephone's garden as a gift to him for this time with you and as an offering and thank you. Hades will receive the flowers and will give you something, an omen, a sign, something you can look for in your day-to-day -day life as a sign from him, as a confirmation of this meeting. He will open a portal behind you. You say goodbye and walk through the portal back to your room and body. Take a moment to gain consciousness of your surroundings. Remember that you have the power to choose. Remember that you have control over your body and over your decisions. And you're encouraged to always take the best decision your heart feels best. Now we'll remove the coats one by one, the golden light and the silver one. But always know that you are always protected and you're always safe. Now I want you to start moving your fingers slowly, your feet, your hands, your legs and arms. And whenever you're ready, open your eyes and journal your experience. It was a pleasure and honor to guide you through this journey into the underworld. And if you feel comfortable sharing your experience or insights, feel free to let me know in the comments. For now, I will see you in the next one.